It is just around 6.30 in the evening here in Seoul. The Seoul series has come and gone. Hi, everyone. Lindsay, Otani's the big story, right? Field deep. Tatis back. He's there. For the Padres Freeman. are pointing to second base. Then they run off the field. So something happened. Otani got the second, and he was very aggressive. But after the catch, he did not retag second base. So we're already in for some fun. The retouch rule states that if a runner has to return, they must touch each base in reverse order. So for this situation, Otani is forced to retouch on the fly ball caught because he rounded second base. How do you know he rounded second base? Remember the diagram from the umpire manual. To be considered beyond the base, you have to be on, well, the left side of that line. And it looks like on replay, Otani is, maybe barely, but he is on the past side of the line. So the Padres successfully appeal this, and we move on to the next play, which is a Xander Bogarts strikeout. This is empty two out. Xander Bogarts takes high from Fire Eisen. By the way, yes, the stats on the pitches, the charts will all be back this year. If you need an overview or a refresher on how the numbers work, I recommend you watch this video. We did an entire dissection of what everything means, so you'll know how to read statistics this coming year. Bogarts takes strike one, doesn't like it, it goes to Fletcher, we get a timeout call. This is timeout. The computer has this pitch as a strike, but of course there are going to be disagreements, which is the theme of this strikeout, by the way. Strike two comes in, and lo and behold, another timeout call. So Fletcher calls Bogarts out, because under the new pitch clock rules, new being last year, you can only call timeout as a batter, request it once per at bat. If the umpire deems that you have done it more than once per at bat on that second one, the violation results in an automatic strike. So that is what the penalty being applied here is, and that's where the disagreement comes from. Violation. And for strike three. For the lip readers amongst us, Bogart says, I didn't even say time, I said out. He was complaining about the pitch being out and not calling for time on the first strike call. Fletcher thought he was calling for time and gave him that. So that's where the two verse one comes from. And that furthers my other point on this issue, which is that pitch clock comes up on you awfully quick, especially if you're arguing. There's really no time to argue pitch calls. And that leads to more rushed situations, which leads to more room for disagreement on things like this. Last year, I said pitch clock would lead to more disagreements. It has. This is an example of a pitch clock adjacent rule, one timeout maximum per batter, that has led to a disagreement. Ump said you did it twice, batter says you did it once. Everyone's rushed, not much time to figure it out, and that's why this happened. In conclusion, the answer is the umpire thought the batter called timeout twice, the penalty for which is an automatic strike. Thanks for the question. Visit us online, like and subscribe, Discord, and the rest. We'll see you on CloseCallSports.com.